All right, since someone asked me yesterday how this whole enameling thing worked, I'm gonna do a quick little video of it here. So, give me a couple minutes, because this might this isn't a super quick process, so be patient. Uh, what we have here is some powdered glass. This is actual glass, ground up into a powder. Start by adding some water to that so that it's kind of paintable. Got our piece here. Got a couple layers of enamel on it, as you can see. And it's backed with a piece of copper. I've taken the silver and soldered it directly to the copper so that I can apply the enamel to that. And then, once I'm all done, I can etch the enamel away and we'll have a clear glass piece. So what we do is we take some of this enamel it's now kind of thick and goopy, the water. And we start applying it to our piece. Just put a couple big piles on there. Doesn't really matter. Now, what you want is a really thin layer of glass. So we're going to take these piles and using the water, we're going to smooth them out as thin as we can. You could pack the whole thing full and fire it and be done, but that causes a lot of air to be trapped in all of the little glass grains, so you end up with a really cloudy final product. So what you want to do is put layer after layer, very thin. And they say that ultimately, the ultimate goal is to try and get a layer that's about two grains of glass thick. That's really hard to do. I don't always do that. <laughs> but we get it as thin as we can. And this will end up taking, all together, for a piece this thick, probably around somewhere between 10 and 15 layers, I'd say. We've got three layers on right now. This is the fourth. Want to make sure everything's covered. Push it down along the edges so you're not getting thicker areas. Try and keep it off of the silver as much as you can, or you'll have to grind that off later. You'll have to do some of that anyway, but the less you have to do, the better. Add a little bit here and there, just to make it even. It's kind of rushing here because I don't want this video to take forever. Let the water carry those grains into the little recesses in some of these small places. Get a little bit here into the curl on the snake because you don't want holes. And if you can see, the water just lets that flow into all the little crevices. There, that's not bad. Got a pretty good, decently thin layer there. It's a little thick on the edges. I'll try and smooth that out a little. Not bad. Now, you want this to be dry before you can put it in the kiln, or else it's just going to bubble and cause all kinds of problems. So, here's a little enameler's secret trick. Take a little piece of rolled up toilet paper or paper towel or something, and just lightly touch it to your enamel, and it soaks that water right up. There, now it's mostly dry, certainly dry enough. And that's what we've got that's what's going to go into the kiln. As you can see over here, I've got my little kiln 
set at about 1400, 1420 degrees. That's the point at which the glass melts. Yeah, it's hot in there. That's also the temperature that the silver won't be melting, but it's at a temperature that will let it accept the glass as it melts and fuse to the glass. So we're going to open this up, pop it in. Close it. And now we got to let that sit in there. It'll take about 45 seconds or so to get up to temperature and to start melting. Somewhere in there. So now we wait. As you can see the kiln let some heat out. We had it open there, so let it get back up to temp. And I'm just counting in my head here to about 45, and that's when we'll check it. Like I said, this is not a short process. You'll end up doing this, you know, maybe 15 times for one piece like that just to get the enamel in there. Then you got to do all the cleanup and all of that. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. You don't want to leave it in there too long or it's going to get too thin. Your glass is going to run in ways you don't want it to. You want it to just melt, just starting to melt. So we'll take a quick peek. Well, eh, we're good. It just melted. We're going to take it out. I'm going to set it on top of the kiln here very carefully. Close the door back up. You can see. That glass is all melted now. It's really dark, but that'll change as it cools. We leave it on top of the kiln to let it cool slower because the kiln's really hot. If it cools too fast, the temperature differentials will cause the glass to crack and our whole process is ruined and we definitely don't want that. But that is how you do one layer of glass enamel on a piece like this.